Hello, beautiful world, and welcome back to my channel. It is Dr. Akash Rana here, always trying to inspire the next generation of dentists by learning new tricks and tips to get into dental school, or if you're in dental school, just trying to get you that push through, just to show you how amazing of a life and a career this really is for you. So today, this is for those kids still trying to get into dental school. The kids struggling in undergrad, wondering if it's worth it, if it's a good opportunity for them, if it's the right career for them. And I can show you how I got into dental school by taking the DAT exam. That's the dental admissions test. It is a prerequisite to apply to dental school and you need to knock it out of the park if you're considering on being a dentist in the future. Now I took this exam quite a while ago. It was about September 3rd of 2015. I remember that day so vividly. I remember the anxiety building up to it the week before, the day before, those months of nonstop studying, cramming, hopefully just wishing it would all be over and I'd get into school and start my dream job one day. Well, here I am, and I'm here to tell you, the principles and studying habits still hold true to this day. What I learned studying for that exam, I applied to my academic career all the way through dental school and up until graduation. And I learned a shit ton about myself, how to study properly, and how to develop the best mentality when taking an exam like this. This exam is a monster, guys. You have to be prepared for battle when you step into that room, when they fingerprint you. You gotta be looking it dead in the eyes and being like, I got this. I'm in control of my destiny and nothing will stop me from achieving my dreams. You need to come in with that energy. Come in with that dragon energy, guys. You have it, it's inside you. Let it out and show the world what you're really capable of. Now, I didn't go super saiyan on this exam. I tried my best, I took it one time, I didn't have to retake it and I got into dental school. I'm a dentist now. So I'm not afraid to tell you my scores or talk about my pitfalls and my stoppages along the way. Some parts of the exam I knocked out the park and some exams I flopped super hard. Don't hate on me because some parts I really flopped, but hey, guess what? I still made it and you will too. If you listen to these tips and tricks, you put some comments down below, tell me what's helping you during the exam, tell me how you did and tell other people what you did to succeed because we'd all like to know and share and learn from your journey. And if you can guys, please like and subscribe. I'm making these videos to bring awareness to the field, get more kids motivated and inspired to become dentists. It's the best job in the world and I promise you it's all worth it if you put the work in. I'll be sure to show you my score report at the end of the video just to confirm I did take the exam and I did do pretty well. And I think it's important to be open, vulnerable and transparent with you guys every step along the way in my journey, just so you understand that it's not all A's on every exam, it's not perfect scores all the way through, there's failures and there's rejections along the way, but it's okay because that's what makes you stronger. And for me, seeing this score, identifying my weaknesses and, and really focusing on that, identifying this stuff on my application, it all helped me at the end. All right, my first tip, it's super important to use multiple resources. I learned this way too late in the game. Guys, I talk to pre-dental students every single day and it drives me crazy when they tell me that they've just been using DAT Bootcamp for the past three months and they're ready to take the exam. Guys, you wanna treat this like a stock portfolio. You wanna diversify your resources. You wanna be able to use multiple resources so that you have a good idea of what's expected on the exam. For me, I used Cliff's AP notes for like two months and I realized that it was a huge waste of time because I wasn't prepared to answer questions and the other resources like Bootcamp and Destroyer. Now obviously, don't spread yourself thin either and use 17 different textbooks to learn general chemistry. My personal favorite resource was the DAT Destroyer. I saw a ton of questions similarly presented like in that textbook. And I took Jim Romano's course and he's been a huge help for me. That guy's the man. That is the Orgo man for DAT Destroyer. Went to his class in Staten Island. It was pretty expensive and at the end of the day, I think it was worth it. And now if you're asking me in today's current age what I would use to study for this exam, it would be pretty simple. First, I would use DAT Bootcamp and use all the practice tests to get a good foundation for what's going on and what's to be expected. Next, I'd use DAT Destroyer to cover a wide variety of concepts because that book tests a lot of unusual concepts that do end up showing up on the exam. Next, I'm using YouTube. I use YouTube for everything, guys. And if you're using YouTube right now to learn how to study for the DAT, please share this video with a friend, like and smash that subscribe button if you can. Anyways, I'm using YouTube to memorize concepts, learn bigger ideas, 
that are presented in textbooks or in your classes, but are really broken down in short bite-sized versions. And lastly, I'm using flashcards for rote memorization. I like to use the app Anki. I have the app on my phone as well. I can memorize a shit ton of principles and concepts really quickly with that spaced interval learning. I like to use it for bio, I can use it for general chemistry reactions, or organic chemistry reagents and reactants as well. Not to mention, Anki already has preset decks for the DAT. They have them for all your major topics and it's really crucial to be able to save a lot of time and not have to make your own decks and just kind of start memorizing the information. Guys, now's the time to just start getting your fingers wet. Start getting wide exposure to everything that's being thrown at you. Start using these flashcards, start using YouTube, start using all these resources that are openly available to you for free and just start getting this stuff out the way. So to conclude tip number one, diversify your portfolio. Spread your assets around so you have no choice but to succeed. Second tip to study for the DAT. Guys, focus on what really matters. Focus on total science. That's the most important number on that piece of paper. At the end of the day, this is a science-based exam. We are scientists, we are clinicians, we are doctors. It is important that you cover all your basic sciences. This is what matters most to admissions committees. Second most important number on that paper to me personally is reading comprehension. It may shock you to hear that, but for me personally, I noticed that admissions counselors would look at that number and be able to identify how good a candidate is at reading a large volume of information and being able to regurgitate that back on the paper. There's a great correlation between your reading comprehension scores and how well you'll do in dental school. Let me know if you think I'm wrong, but I noticed that my friends who had the highest reading comp scores, 25s, 26s, and 27s, were just barely studying in dental school and knocking it out of the park. These kids had first pick of specialty, anything they wanted to do with their careers, they had the options to. My reading comp score wasn't the best and it wasn't the worst, so I definitely had to put that time in in dental school. I had to spend more time than normal studying for exams and really trying to understand the concepts. Okay, lastly on the totem pole of what you need to focus on for the DAT is math and your PAT. I'm telling you right now, I shit the bed in math. No question about it. I'm not good at math. And that's why I became a dentist. But I gotta tell you, it's not that relevant. I don't really see how you need to use too much math as a dentist every day. And for your perceptual ability, I think that's a stretch, guys. I'm telling you, Perceptual ability kind of helps you in your day-to-day -day life as a dentist, but not really. It's just some weird game that somebody made up just to test somebody's ability to fold a piece of paper and punch a couple holes in it and identify where the holes are gonna be. I don't understand it still fully, but I guess it's just another way to weed people out. I wouldn't put too much time in it if you're pressed for time, because like I said, I'm focusing on total sciences. That's what's gonna separate you from the rest of the pack. I know you can do it, focus on the sciences, knock it out of the park. Okay, let me know if this has ever happened to you. You're studying for a long period of time, maybe like four or five hours, and then you leave to take a break, talking to your homie, scrolling through TikTok, you come back and you're like, what did I just read? <laughs> I forgot everything, right? That happened to me all the time, guys. And I'm telling you right now, it's really important to retest yourselves. What do I mean by that? Go back in your passages, reread what you just learned, test yourselves with flashcards, or try to test yourselves with friends. It's really important to form that study group so you guys can bounce ideas off each other and concepts. I made that mistake myself in the beginning couple weeks studying for the DAT. I would read for weeks and weeks on end, blindly just trying to memorize everything and inhaling all the information, and it would literally just be exhaled out, and I would retain pretty much none of it because I wasn't testing myself often enough. That's why I like to use Anki. Anki has that spaced interval repetition where it's constantly testing your memory. And then after a few days, it'll hit you again with that flashcard. So it'll really sink in and you'll be able to retain a lot more information much faster. So in conclusion to tip number two, guys, constantly retest yourselves. Use Anki to remind yourselves to subscribe to my YouTube channel because it really helps the YouTube algorithm identify what videos you guys like to see. It'll also help me identify what more amazing content I can make for you guys to get you on your next step of their journey. But back in the day when I took the exam, I don't even think mental health was a priority amongst Americans. And now today, it's one of the most important things in everybody's life, and I really think it's important to identify how to better help yourself during a long journey like this when studying for the DAT. I remember I would go in guns blazing, studying for 10, 12, even 13 hours a day four to six days a week, rarely taking breaks. I would be working out every morning. I would have two meals prepped, so I would never have to leave that library. There was no windows in that room. 
I was going so hard and it was just taking such a toll on my body at the time. I definitely took the whole Mamba mentality, monk mode thing way too far, but I was driven and I was determined to get a good grade on this exam. It really is the most important test of your life up until this point, guys. Don't take it lightly. Don't think, oh, I'm just gonna retake the exam if I don't do well. No, you will do well your first time taking this exam. I promise you, you can do it. Just put the time in and focus now. All this extra stress, I would barely be able to sleep. I was sleeping for four to five hours a day and it really took a toll on my mood. I wasn't making time for my social life. So guys, please take the time for yourself. It is a really important exam, but spending that extra investment of time outside the library is just as important if you really think about it. SDN and these other forums are like social media. It's like checking Instagram to compare how your life should be lived. Guys, it's a highlight reel. There's a very select few amount of individuals on there that are in the top 1% who are just showing off what they got. Don't compare yourself to them, it's so irrelevant. And for me, it was just such a heartbreaking feeling seeing these crazy scores online and wondering how I can ever match up to my competition. Only the best of scores get upvoted and average scores like mine don't get upvoted to the top. But guess what? I still got in and you will too. So just stay positive and keep trying your hardest. All right, if you've made it this far in the video, it's time for me to open up and be a little more vulnerable with you and tell you my true intentions for making this video. My true intentions for making these videos is so that you can get into dental school. You can achieve your dreams, you can make a shit ton of money, and you can use all that extra free time to spend with the people that matter the most to you. If you close your eyes and envision your best life, the most perfect version of yourself, it all starts with this exam, guys. This is the most important exam of your life and it shouldn't be taken lightly. Guys, having a great score on this exam can make a difference between tens of thousands of dollars, so maybe you'd be able to get into your state school, or if you're dreaming on living in a major city, you'd be able to have your pick of schools when that time comes. I have faith that you will get through this difficult time in your life. Believe in yourself and trust the process. And I'm speaking from experience, because I too was once in your shoes, struggling to get through those mind-numbing study sessions, being frustrated at my practice score tests, and just being mad at myself for not being able to retain information as fast as some of my friends did. And now I'm on the other end of all of this, just to show you that it's possible and it's all worth it. Guys, I got a 20 academic average with a 21 total science. It's not the worst score, it's not the best score, it was a little bit around the average. However, it worked and I still got in. So you don't need to hit these exceptionally high scores or get down on yourself when you're not doing that well. I remember that day I had to step up at bat to take this exam. In my mind, I had a 2.93 science GPA. I was thinking if I didn't hit a 30, everything was a failure. But that's not the case, guys. I did pretty average. I got a 20 academic average and a 21 total science. It was good enough for me to get in. And if I can do it with those grades and that DAT, you should be fine too. Trust in yourself, focus on the process, and just keep working hard towards your goals. The number one most important thing is consistency. Some days you'll have good days, some days you'll have bad days, but in the end, you'll get to the next step, just like I did. I made so many mistakes along the way, but that's why I made this video, is to show you guys the mistakes and just to make sure you don't make the same ones I did. And I know, if I helped at least one dental student along the way to get past this tough time in their life, this video was well worth it. So that about wraps it up for today. Guys, please share this video with a friend of yours who may be taking the exam with you. Show them that it's possible and then you should have faith in yourselves to overcome this obstacle in your life. If you're already in dental school or you're currently a dentist, put a comment down below to tell me what you would have done differently. Please help everybody here trying to get to the point where you are now. Your opinions are valid and I appreciate it too. I have faith in you and I hope you have faith in yourselves. Until next time guys, take care.